This is my absolute favorite thing to make. Today we are going to be doing tostones, which is made from plantain. Now, plantain looks like a banana, but is actually much more like a sweet potato. And what we're gonna be doing is frying these, baking them, and lathering them with some lovely homemade guacamole. So, because they're a lot thicker than bananas, just a normal peel is quite difficult. Sometimes you will need to cut into them. They're not the easiest to find in your standard supermarket, but often uh, local exotic Asian supermarkets tend to have them, South Asian supermarkets or any West Indian or African market as well. They are used pretty much everywhere in the Caribbean region. And the Caribbean region is, you know, has the French speaking islands, the English speaking islands, and the Spanish speaking islands where this particular recipe comes from. But everyone is united on their use of plantain in pretty much every meal possible. What we're going to do is cut this into some really big chunks. And then the beauty of tostones is that we cook them twice. So the first stage is that we're gonna take them over to the frying pan and give them a little shallow fry. I'm just gonna get this on nice and hot. And you can use any oil really, but my preference is to use coconut oil. It's a, got a very light taste and it's a lot healthier for you than uh, most other oils. So we'll just let that heat up, get nice and warm. Just move the oil around the whole pan. So typically in the English-speaking Caribbean island region, such as Jamaica and St. Vincent, uh, they love to deep fry lots of food. It's very tasty, but it's not the healthiest. So at Lime Hut, we do like to put a nice modern healthy twist on our recipes. And an example of that is just shallow frying the plantain instead of deep frying. So we're gonna pop these in the pan, now it's nice and hot. And they will start sizzling. And we're just gonna keep them in there until they get a really nice golden brown color. And then you're just gonna turn them over once they're starting to get golden brown on one side so we can get a nice even spread of that color. They are a bit tricky because they're obviously cylinder shaped so I sometimes use the other plantains next to it to support them as you're going to flip them round just so you can get that nice even color. Then at this stage, I'll just turn the fire down a little bit now we're getting that golden brown color. And we want this golden brown to be completely covered. So that even means on the flat side. So this does look a bit funny, but you sort of stand them up like soldiers so that the ends can also get that lovely golden brown color too. And then it's really good to just have any type of kitchen roll or any form of tissue, because what you want to do is just blot off any of that oil, excess oil because they'll be a bit slippery. And now, for the fun bit. We're gonna squash them. So, I would recommend just getting two plates in your house. You just want, basically, two flat, hard surfaces to be able to do this. And then you'll take the first plant in. Now, if you just look at that, you can see where it's gone nice and golden brown. That's some caramelization's already happened there. And hopefully some more will happen when we bake it. But what I'll do is just put it on a plate and then get the flat side of the other plate and literally squash it. There'll be a bit of resistance because they're quite starchy, but that is the perfect sort of size. Um, and in terms of thickness, it's probably about half a centimeter. And that we go, so that's our first one. And I'm just gonna do that with all of them. And then don't worry if they look a bit sticky or rough at all because when they go in the oven, they'll sort of solidify again, but these nice rough bits will actually caramelize so nicely. Right, I'm just gonna brush the smallest amount of oil in this tray, literally just a dot. I'm just gonna smudge it across with my fingers. And this is just so that we are able to get the plant in back out of the pan more easily afterwards because they do get a bit sticky. I'm just gonna pop them into this tray. And then we're going to take them over to the oven, which has been preheated for about 15 minutes at 200 degrees. They 
they have been in the oven for about 15 minutes. There we go. Oh, these look great. You can see how all around the edges, they've gone a really lovely golden brown. And also the heat of the oven has really fluffed them up. So they're really nice and fluffy. So I'm just gonna drop each of the tostones onto our board here. My perfect topping for tostones is uh, guacamole. So I'm just gonna get this one out the fridge that I've made earlier. And we've actually shared this recipe with you guys before. And going to just basically get a knife, get a nice wedge of guac and just lather it on top. Something quite interesting with plantain is um, everyone's got a different way of saying it. There's a bit of a debate between the Africans and Caribbeans of the world, but Africans say plantain and Caribbean people tend to say plantain. I'm definitely in the plantain camp, if anyone's asking. <laughs> Gonna have to cut mum out now. Mum's a cheerleading for the plantain camp as well. <laughs> but however you say it, plantain, plantain, platano, if you're from the Latin American speaking islands, it all tastes bloody good. All I would do to finish this is add a bit of garnish. So I'd recommend getting something like chives and just giving it a little sprinkle. And then if you want to add a nice little punch, I'd recommend adding some cut chilies. So I'm going to get these gloves on because I don't know about anyone else. I wear contact lenses and there is no pain greater than cutting up chili in the morning and rubbing your eye innocently later in the afternoon to have absolute fire in your eyes. So definitely use gloves if you can. I've got a scotch bonnet chili here. We're not going to use that for this, but I've also just cut up some standard red chilies that you can get in any standard supermarket. And I would just top each tostoni with a thinly sliced bit of chili. So there we go. Our guacamole topped plantain tostonis. And all that's left to do now is just get stuck in. I wouldn't even recommend having a knife and fork. The best way to get stuck in with these is just with your hands. That's perfect. Let's see how the plant Have you had these before, Mum? No. Let's see how the plant in to stir. Mm. Nice. So I learned this recipe when I was um, backpacking around South America. Yeah, I nearly gave my mum a heart attack by telling her I was going traveling solo around South America for three months. Uh, but I survived and I came back with great recipes. I'll have to give you that one. Mm. <laughs> okay. Thanks for watching. Please don't forget to check out the rest of our videos and like, share and subscribe. And if you can't be bothered to cook these yourself and you want to come check us out in person, just make sure you're following Lime Hut London.